Hearts. Making date 1 2 with Benamar, and he's got room for the cross and good shape on it. Hooked away though by Murray. No McCaffrey. Nakstad is a long way inside the St. Noctis half. Might be an opportunity for them to break, and that's a really good pass too. And there could be a chance here for the visitors, and there is a chance for the visitors on the edge of the area. And well, Carl Summers, it was arriving. Just enough pressure applied to ensure he didn't get it. This penalty area. Not to an obvious target. He's only scored once for Dundalk. That was in the President's Cup against Shamrock Rovers. Dundalk could certainly do with another one here tonight. Here comes the corner kick. And that's a really good delivery. And a really good finish as well. Really good finish. And Dundalk lead by a goal. It's behind Byrne. And arriving was Han. And the ball just to seize him. And St. Moctis will look to get it away. They haven't though. Here's Cameron Domigan with the shot. Oh, that's come back off the crossbar. And has it crossed the line. The assistant on this near side is in the close season from Crumlin United, along with his brother Liam Brady, who misses out today through suspension, having been sent off in the second round against his former club, Crumlin United. And there's a mistake by Dundalk. Here's Garrett McCaffrey, and he's rounded Jets, and he's equalised. And St. Moctis are level, and it's that man, Garrett McCaffrey, away from his mistake to ending up in the back of the net. Here's a free kick for the Lily Whites. Sean Murray to take it to the back post. Sonny Natastan is there and rises but just can't get control in the header. And that'll be a goal kick for the visitors. But don't talk. You're in a hiding to nothing. You go out against these teams and they're so-called less. But on their day, most of the, the junior teams are, are capable of match for anybody. It's putting it over a sustained period. So that's what I mentioned. Don't talk. going to find a hard beat Marcus tonight on, on a one-off. But... If they don't, it'll live with them for a long time. That's, that's 20 odd years ago. I, I can still remember it. I can still remember the feeling of walking off the field. It's utterly deflated. Here's Andy Boyle now. From a Dundalk perspective, let's hope that that feeling of deflation isn't one they feel in an hour and 20 minutes' time. Here's a free kick to Dundalk. Wilfred Zahibo to take it. It's not the only game tonight in the FEI Cup. Cork City nil, St. Patrick's Athletic nil. The latest at Turner's Cross. UCD nil, Longford Town nil. Waterford nil, Kilnamana nil. And Finn Harps nil, Derry City nil. Andy Boyle to the feet of Pat Hooban. Hooban lays that off to Ben Amar. He's got one already. His first goal in a white shirt for Dundalk. Ben Amar with it. Not a bad idea and with the first touch and it's really well kept in by Yorkovskis. Nice turn by Ben Amar and he's checked inside and he's found Sam Stanton to dock appealing for a penalty kick. Amara stayed down. The ball eventually found its way over to Han who could do nothing with it and Ben Amara is still down. Yorkovskis throw it. Sean Murray with the nod down. There's a mistake there by Summers is it and the shot from Stanton. Really well saved in there by Adam Kmet. Excellent save. That ball was travelling by Stanton. Here he is again, the Scott. Now it's Ben Amar. Here's Sean Murray. Yorkovskis wants it right-hand side. Dundalk tried to work it central instead. Ben Amar pokes it into Stanton. He tries another shot. And Dundalk with a corner kick. Good passage of play. Fourth really bit of sustained pressure with Dundalk in around the penalty. McCaffrey. And the ball is staying tight. McCaffrey does well and he's got the cross in. And Dundalk, Cameron Domigan across to just make the block. And the shot over the crossbar. Cameron Yates with the goal kick. Cameron Domigan. Now it's Han. Han will try the shot. Blocked by Byrne. In typical Alan Byrne fashion. Just throws himself at it. Stanton now to Domigan. Domigan's shot. Straight at Komet. Dundalk now back in. I know that this has given a little bit of extra inspiration and motivation to get back and work that bit harder in the gym. And these are the, these are the big nights that these players will talk about for a long time, and they love to take a scalp here. Here's Sean Murray now. Murray's cross in, and it's a good one, and it's a really good save by Adam Kmet. It was Pat Huben with the header, headed it down, did everything. Most where Dundalk, well, their largest players are gathered to attack it. Sonny Natastad and Andy Boyle looking for space and Natastad has found some and the header back in by Boyle it's just over the crossbar again another excellent ball with Murray worked on Natastad trying to head up nice turn by Ben Amar and surges into the penalty area and he's gone down it's a penalty kick Sammy Ben Amar with too much for the Moctis defenders 
I think it may well have been burned with the last touch. Second challenge put him down and the dog a glorious chance now to get the lead back. Well, Ben Amar gave Dundalk the lead in this one. He may well have had a big part to play in giving them the lead for a second time, and he has because Pat Huben has dispatched that pass, Kmet, and Dundalk lead again. Well, he looked very dangerous. And then again, he picked up the ball. Good, good work beforehand. We are cautious to link very well. But once he commits people, he has that pace and that power to get around them. And as I mentioned before, I think when he gets match fit and gets a lot sharper, he'll be an even bigger threat. A lot of the, the skills will work. He'll have that pace to go by people. Here come John Jock again. Sean Murray. No Pat Huben. Huben, he's found some space for the shot. Huben, oh, and he's thrilled at home. Pat Huben, no chance for Komet. Because Pat Huben got that onto his left foot and made absolutely sure. And Dundalk have doubled their lead within two minutes. Absolutely fantastic footwork by Pat Huben there. Ball drilled into him along the ground and took it on his back foot. And the control just completely threw off Sean Byrne. And once he got in there, he made absolutely no mistake. Buried into the bottom corner. Wonderful flowing move. Murray, great delivery in. And it was just that first touch as he spun. Opened his body out and buried it at the far corner. Wonderful goal by Dundalk. Pat Huben, that left foot, that left. Dundalk looking much more comfortable. In a game in which they have largely been comfortable. Who's not to start now? Not to start again. Done again. O'Hanlon tackling back, punched away by Kmet. Slugger challenges on the edge of the penalty area. Summers with the header away. Slugger though has it. Jokovskis. Now Stanton. Stanton to Slugger. The dog seem to have upped the intensity at the start of the second half. There's Sean Murray. And this time it's just outside the other post by the Englishman. And it's starting to re really ask questions now. Keen Mackett. <laughs> has a comment on Twitter that Sean Murray actually declared for Ireland uh, not England uh, let's not go there after <laughs> the Rice and Grealish instances but he was born in Watford so uh, let's, uh, let's leave it at that Keith. here's a uh, hand now Greg Sloggett Sam Stanton now Sonny Natterstadt Andy Boyle to Natterstadt again Summer is working hard for St. Moctis, but it eventually gives up on that. No great slogan to Domigan. Domigan looking for Huben. He's on a hat trick. He might get it here, Huben. Pat Huben saved by Komet. Does really well with his feet. Really, really good flight in that ball with Domigan. You just seen Huben peeling to the back. There's Huben again with the flick on ahead of Noel Murray. Domingue looking to sprint past Shannon and they found Sean Murray here and Murray has slipped that into Huben and that is the hat-trick for Pat Huben. Huben the difference in the second half, three goals and Dundalk lead by four to one now. Excellent play, they really cut the Mockers back four open there. Again Domingue starting it, driving forward, go ball into Murray and Pat played a wonderful run there across the back of the centre half and timed it lovely. Murray slipped him in and first time, didn't need a touch, instant finish into the keeper's bottom right hand corner second half hat trick for Pat Pat Huben with his ninth, or ninth goal of the season and that has very much put Dundalk in control at Oriel Park that set off inside the St Moctis penalty area crossed in by Murray Natastad is there to meet it but under pressure from Noel Murray his header well over Adam commits crossbar. Sean Murray will take this one. Another right footed in swinger this time to the back post. And Natastad is the target. And Greg Sloggett really might have done better then. Another Murray right on the money on Natastad's head. And he has hit his corner kick. Once again, it's that right arm in the air. And it's into the six yard box and commit. Under pressure, who had the final touch? It came off a Dundalk player last. It'll be a goal kick. So a double change by Brian McCarthy. 
Again this morning, a major reason that Tim Octas are here tonight, being the player that scored the winner in the Intermediate Cup final win over Colester Donacarney. Here comes the dock again. Here's Pat Hubin. Can he make it five? He can. Good save by Komet, but it's in the back of the net. And it's Han who's got it on the follow up. Han Jong Woo with his third goal for Dundalk. And Dundalk now lead by five goals to one. Really incisive play there. Sloggett won it back in the middle again, drove forward. And Pat Hoban, he's just hungry for more goals. Done really well there and put himself in danger with a clash to the keeper. And Han following up just tapped it into an open goal. And Dundalk really cutting loose now. It looks like they're going to score, and every every time they get forward at this stage, the legs are seen to have fallen off of St. Moctis and Difficult for St. Moctis at this stage, or just after they'd made. It does look like to see young Ryan O'Kane's going to come on and get, get a few minutes here at the end, and you know the locals definitely be happy to see that. And I love seeing one of their own playing. Jokovskis with the cross in, too deep for Hanrity and for Saget. Hanrity will try and recycle this here's Domigan now Domigan's cross in it's a good shape on it and is it in it's not it's just off target that might have been six really good cross by Domic Brian McCarthy Stephen Donnelly into the forward line again a striker a new signing for the current season from Usher Celtic there's an effort off the crossbar Cameron Yates I'm sure where that was going to end up fortunately for the shoulder but Alex instead to use Greg Slogger and he very calmly will play that back to Yates here's Andy Boyle now Mock was very unfortunate we mentioned in the first half how, how good they were especially Alan Bourne from set pieces there and he headed it right back across and just looped over the keeper Yates and landed on the crossbar lucky for them Mark Henry has looked very composed since he's come into the game for Dundalk Greg Slogger to Ryan O'Kane Okay, good pace from him. Okay, it's cross in now. Pat Huber saved by Kmet at point blank, blank range at the front post. Wonderful save. He's made four or five excellent saves. Sort of play that we saw in pre season from him that got so many Dundalk supporters so excited. Here comes the Dundalk corner kick, and it's Myola with the header into the ground. Saved by Kmet, and he looks to go long first time towards Donnelly, but Jokovskis returns it. Slug it with the flick on. Pat Huber on the shoulder of Alan Byrne but too much pace on the flick on and kill the man in ill after 83 minutes at the RSC Cork City nil St. Pat's nil UCD 2 Longford Town 1 the latest score now at Belfield and Finn Harps nil Derry City nil less than 10 minutes to go 9 minutes to be exact here's Greg Sloggett now Dock supporters in the shed here in good voice now. In some ways, this has been an ideal match for Dundalk as it's turned out, given the disappointment of the last three league matches. And Sean Murray now for Dundalk, and Murray's shot is over and wide. I did ask Finney Perth in the wake of the game last week against Drogheda if it quickly. Hopes of a comeback for St. Magdas are likely to be forlorn now. Here's Rivas Jarkovskis. They might make it worse for the visitors. Alan Byrne is there to make the block. Ryan O'Kane with the drilled cross come shot. Here's Greg Sloggett. Now Hanrity. Mark Hanrity. Two St. Magdas players in his way. Gets the shot away. But commit down to save. Certainly no shortage of confidence. Very well indeed. Pat Huber. Really has forced home the Dundalk advantage with a hat trick here in the second half. And Han adding to that. And Dundalk very safely into the third round of the FEI Cup. And who will join them? It looks like Waterford will. Looks like UCD probably will too. As Domigan puts another cross in. And it, well, Greg Slogger, good save by Kmet. Not for the first time in the second half. This might have been worse, but for him, the Ducks still have it. Ryan O'Kane. Dispossessed, but another smart save by Adam Komet. Wonderful flow and move by Dawkins. 